Okay, let's graph the equation y equals 1 minus 2x. We use a table of values, and then we use slope-intercept form. So we're going to put values in for x, get a value for y, and then we'll graph that point, and that'll give us the line for y equals 1 minus 2x. I'd like to start with 0. You can start with anything, but if you start with 0, 1 minus 2 times 0, it's just 1 minus 0, so it's 1. Let's try 1 next. 1 minus 2 times 1, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And let's try, how about 2? So 1 minus 2 times 2. So 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. And again, you could put any values in for x. You'll get a value for y, and it'll be on our line. So x is 0, y is 1. x is 0, y is 1. x is 1, and then y is negative 1. And then x is 2, and y is negative 3. And you can see all of these line up here. Let's put a line through that. And we'll put arrows to show it goes to infinity. And that's the graph for y equals 1 minus 2x. You could put other values in for x. You'll get a value for y. That point will be on our line. Let's do it with slope-intercept form. So I'd really like the x to be up front like it is here. So I'm going to rearrange this to minus 2x plus 1. It's the same thing, but now I have my y-intercept here is 1. That lines up. The x's line up. So y-intercept is 1. We go to the y-axis down to 1. That's where we should cross, and it is. Now for the slope, let's call this negative 2 over 1. It's still the same thing. It's still negative 2, but now we can call this rise over run. So we can go to our y-intercept here, and we would rise 2 and then run 1 except we have that negative there, negative 2. So we have to go down 1, 2 over 1. Let's do it again. Down 1, 2 over 1. And that line is on our graph there. So this is the graph for y equals negative 2x plus 1, or you could say y equals 1 minus 2x using slope-intercept form. And earlier we used a table of values, got the same answer. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.